Will this double arm bracers configuration prevent you from destroying your drone? Is it worth it? Is it worth to do it? Then I'm going to answer those questions. Before we talk about those arm bracers, let me tell you if you're stressed out, if you modify your rates radically from a flight to another without taking the time to get used to the new rates, if you change your camera tilt while flying, if you don't mind power lines when you fly, if you freestyle with your quad, if you interact while flying, usually when I fly, I don't talk to anyone, you might crash your drone. So it's not all about mounting those embracers and then all risk of destroying your quad, vanish, doesn't work like that. Just a quick reminder about the official set of embracers. Your quad is more stable, they eliminate vibrations and they can help transfer the shock wave just in case you crash it. And knowing that your drone is more protected can make you try to attempt more things. So I mounted these original set of arm bracers plus some arm reinforcers I found on Amazon. But do they make sense? Are they useful? Do they affect the aerodynamic? Honestly, when I flew my drone with them on, I thought that if I like if I fly like in straight line, like full throttle, I thought that I was going to be like kind of pushed to the ground but none of that happened it never happened when i mounted like the the original set of arm bracers and when i had it, those arm reinforcers none of that happened and i found out when those bracers are off the quad for example if i am to dive if i want to dive my quad would like fall down like a like a rock and i found out when i mount them on like even with the first set of arm bracers you know the original one I found out that when I, for example, if I attempt to, to dive with my quad, it would not fall like a rock anymore. And I, I've tested some five inch quads and found out like it behave. I found out it behave like one of them five inch quads, but it's heavier, obviously, you know, it's, it's heavier, but the way it falls down would look like more of those real five inch quads. I did some tests. When you have those bracers on, talking about four of them, because this is what we're talking about, found out your max speed depends on your camera tilt, but not in the sense you would think of. For example, if I was to define my camera tilt at 20 degrees angle, my max speed would be around 35 meters per second. If I put my camera tilt at 25 degrees angle, my max speed would be at 39 meters per second. So obviously much faster. When I define my camera tilt at 30 degrees angle, my max speed would be 30 meters per second. The more you increase your angle, the more your flight style will be aggressive, but it does not necessarily mean that your max speed will increase gradually. So it's up to you to find like the sweet spot. Other question, does it affect the battery flight time? When I had it, the first set of arm bracers, nothing had changed and I can tell you that when I had it, those arm reinforcers, I could see no difference. So what do I gain adding those arm reinforcers on top of the official ones? What do I benefit? And, and does it make sense to add them? It's very simple. Your quad arms are twice reinforced. The first set of arm bracers weigh like 40 grams and this set of arm reinforcers is much lighter. I think it weighs like between 10 to 15 grams. So it's nothing compared to what this quad can do. This is nothing. So it's all about protection. Hello, this is Bruno VFU from the future. I was finishing editing this video and there is something I remembered. I never told you how to install them. If you need to install those arm reinforcers, you need to put them on first because because if you already have the original embracers, you won't be able to install those ones. One last thing I, I wanted to tell you guys is that there is no like there's there's no uh, screw threshold. No, you just need to clamp them. Okay, and that's all there is to it. Cheers, guys.